back to another episode of Pray for Japan. I am Brother Brett Potts, and today's episode is about the Aichi Prefecture. You guys have also probably noticed that I am wearing a uh, different Japanese robe today. Today this is called a yukata. A yukata is a summer robe that is worn in Japan during the summer seasons, and it is actually quite comfortable. I'm not going to lie. It is very comfortable. And, um... I just wanted to show you guys a little bit of what the uh, Japanese would wear um, in their day-to-day -day life back in uh, the, the old times, back in those early days of Japanese history. Of course, they still wear these at festivals and there are many that uh, probably wear them around their homes just for the sake of uh, tradition and just for the sake of uh, fun. And they're also extremely, extremely comfortable to wear, especially in the summer when it's hot is a very light material and is very breathable. So the yukata was a very, um, very functional uh, dress for the Japanese, uh, both male and female. There is a male yukata, which I have, and there is a female yukata. And these are most, most of the girls wear them to festivals more than guys, but I have seen a couple of guys wear them at festivals. And this is just a representation of how the Japanese would have dressed. And of course, uh, the samurai, you know, would have their their katanas um, at their sides at all times. So if you could just imagine walking downtown in Kyoto back in the 1700s and a man would be dressed similar to this, except uh, if he's a samurai, he'd have a sword on his hip. So this is kind of what the traditional Japanese dress would have been uh, back in the day. So Aichi Prefecture has a population of 7,530,000 ,000 souls. Aichi has one city that has no churches whatsoever, and our missionary population for the prefecture is one to every 73,823 souls. The Aichi prefecture has the Kiso mountain range in the east, and it has the Naboi plains in the west. This is the fourth largest prefecture in the nation of Japan, and Aichi is directly linked to the Tokugawa samurai clan. The Tokugawa clan was a clan of shogunate samurai that ruled Japan up until the Meiji era. The Tokugawa clan is also known to be responsible for unifying the prefectures and the family clans of Japan into one national uh, government. Aichi Prefecture is said to be the home to the Tokugawa clan and is responsible for their origins and where they began their military campaigns as warlords in order to conquer the entire nation of Japan. The first thing that we're gonna pray about is the COVID-19 situation. We're gonna pray that God's gonna to touch the situation, that he is going to take it from the globe and that he is going to uh, move into reopening the nations. And that's the second thing we're gonna talk about is pray over the reopening of the nations, that God would just move and that his hand of protection would be upon those that are healthy and keep them healthy and strong and keep this virus away from them, and that we would just touch on our missionaries and help them to be able to uh, reestablish travel and reestablish travel back to their country, to go to their countries and to reach in and tell them about the gospel, because this is critical in these last days as things are starting to uh, wrap up to the second coming of the Lord. We need more people to know who Jesus is, and it's critical to get our missionaries back to the field so that more souls can hear about Jesus and about his love and about salvation and about the way to heaven. So the third thing that we're gonna pray for is our hospitals, jails, nursing homes, schools, fire stations, uh, mental uh, health facilities, orphanages, um, nursing homes, those kind of things that offer a uh, different type of public services to people. And uh, we just wanna pray that God would move on these and that his spirit would touch on the facilities and touch on the staff and on the residents and those housed in these facilities that that God's spirit would move and have a revival in these facilities. There are many things that we can know from uh, the book of Acts with um, Paul and Cyrus in the jail, started a jail revival. And there are many jail revivals in the North America through jail ministries. And we believe that in Japan, we can see the same thing in nursing home ministries, jail ministries, hey, maybe even some orphanages and firehouse ministries. And we're just trusting the Lord to open these avenues and just to make a way so that these people can learn about Jesus. The fourth thing that we're going to pray for today is for those that are seeking the Lord. We need to pray that God would open their revelation and open their mind and just help them to understand who he is and in the fullness of his glory, that his revelation would come into their hearts, that a Bible would be uh, coming to their path, that there would be somebody that would come along that would just let the Holy Ghost move and touch them in Jesus' name. 
Fifth thing that we're going to pray for today is fellowship among the churches. It is critical to build fellowship among our churches, to build these avenues of connection, to make sure that the churches are working together to establish a network that can help reach the prefecture to Japan and can help reach the nation of Japan. It is critical that we have a network that is ordered to just build and, and move and and build a network that can help reach areas, especially unreached areas in the nation of Japan. The sixth thing that we're gonna pray about is for the six cities in Aichi Prefecture that have no church whatsoever. And we wanna pray for these cities that doors would be open where there could be churches established, there could be hope, there could be joy and peace felt in the prefecture, in the cities, and just Jesus name in Jesus's gospel would be preached throughout these prefectures and that the Holy Ghost would be felt in a mighty way in these prefectures in Jesus name. And kind of going off that, we also want to pray for the towns, villages, cities, uh, places that are unreached with the gospel. We want to pray for these unreached areas that God's spirit would move in these unreached areas and they would, it would, he would touch in a mighty way and help these people that live in these unreached areas to be influenced with the power of Jesus and to be influenced in the name of Jesus in this last day. See, I believe that every tribe and every nation has a right and needs the right to know who God is and to have that chance to, to know who Jesus is and to reach these towns and villages in these unreached areas and especially the mountainous areas in the nation of Japan. We need the prayers of the saints to just touch in these areas and to move to to facilitate the need in these areas. The last thing that we want to pray about is for our deputation, Hope for Japan Deputation 2020, which has uh, seen some hiccups in the road due to um, personal finances and with the COVID-19 not being able to travel from churches and with some other uh, personal difficulties that we have faced in our deputation. We would like to ask for prayers that God would just resolve these situations would bring uh, strength and healing and would bring a just a provision into the funding where we need uh, to go back to the nation of Japan and to help facilitate the need and to help facilitate uh, the gospel in this last day because it is critical to get the gospel to the people that need it the most in these last hours we could say um, until the Lord returns. And we know that Jesus is coming back but I believe he does have a dispensation of grace for those that are still seeking him and still uh, w desiring to be saved. And I believe he has a special dispensation of grace for the Japanese islands, where over 90% of the population is still not even heard of the name of Jesus. So I'm trusting that God's going to provide a way for us to get back to Japan, for the mission to continue, and for us to be able to spread the gospel in the nation of Japan again. Thank you for joining us today. Next, we are going into the uh, the kinky area of the nation of Japan, and we are going to talk about the prefectures in that area and the needs that they have for the gospel. Thank you for joining us as always. Uh, click the like button, share this video, get the message out there, let people know that there are still great things that need to be done in these last days and there are great things that we're expecting to be done in the nation of japan thank you and god bless we'll see you next time